Hello all you curious learners. This is Mr. Buffington and today we're going to talk about like terms. Like terms. Terms that are like totally like each other. Like totally. Um, no. Like terms are not <laughs> some crazy sentence where you use the word like inappropriately. They are terms that have the exact same variable. So terms that have exactly the same variable are like terms. Let's go ahead and look at some examples of like terms. Negative a squared and 5a squared. The variable is a squared and it's exactly the same in both terms. p and p. Those are exactly the same variable, exactly the same term exact. Um, there. 2a and negative 15a. Again, the numbers don't really matter. It's just our variable. In this case, a is exactly the same. 7b and negative b. The variable of b is exactly the same. 3x squared y squared and 5x squared y squared. Notice the x squared y squared is exactly the same. Those are like terms. 3x and 2x, 5ab and AB by itself. So here are examples of like terms. Notice the variable is exactly the same in every single term. That's what makes it a like term. Unlike terms are terms that have different variables. So any term that has different variables are going to be unlike terms. Let's look at some examples of unlike terms. These are pretty easy. A squared, negative a squared b, and 7a squared. The variable a squared b is different than the variable a squared. p and p are. They're different. If the variables are different at all, then they are not like terms, or they're unlike terms. 9 and negative 11a. Negative 11a has a variable of a. 9 has no variable at all, so they are not the same. 3z and negative b. z and b rhyme, but they are not the same. Unlike terms, a, x squared y and x squared y squared. Notice in that one I didn't even read the numbers. You don't have to look at the numbers to know if they're like or unlike terms. You just look at the variables, x squared y and x squared y squared. They are different. They're very similar, but they're not exactly the same. So they are also unlike terms. And negative 6x and 2x squared, again, they're not exactly the same, so they're not like terms. And 5ab and 5abc. They have to be completely exactly alike in all ways to be like terms. So here are some examples of unlike terms. Any variables or exponent of the variable that is not the same is considered an unlike term. Time for a little bit of practice. We are going to identify the like terms. I know it's kind of hard to do um, a connect the lines by watching a video. But what you can do is pause the recording, try and connect those lines, see if you can identify the like terms in this table. And after you finish that, come go ahead and unpause the recording, come back and see how you did. Negative 14 ABC. It's exactly the same term, same variable and the same number, but we are only looking at the variable. 5C and 8C both have the variable of C. 2x squared and x squared both have a variable of x squared. 4xy and 3xy both have a variable of xy. And 7q and 9q both have a variable of q. So that's how we can identify these like terms. Quick review on variables. Just just to get our heads kind of wrapped around why it's important or what a like term is a little bit different. 3x means 3 times the value of x, or x plus x plus x. If x was equal to 2, for example, it would be 3 times 2, which is 6, or 2 plus 2 plus 2, which is also 6. So it means 3 times your value of x. 
If you have something like 3x squared, it means something totally different than 3x. It does not mean the same thing. It means 3 times x squared or x squared plus x squared plus x squared. So these terms that look similar, 3x and 3x squared, they look similar, but they're not exactly the same. And because we're doing different operations, addition and, a, and an exponent of x to the power of 2, you can't combine them together. They're totally separate, totally different. So I just wanted to do that, just kind of break apart our variables and, and show you that even if they look similar, unless they're exactly the same, you can't join them together. And why is this important? Like terms have to be exactly alike. They need to be exactly the same because all parts of the variable um, need to, and the parts of the exponent all have to have exactly the same thing. And the reason why this is important is because when we start working with them, we're going to be doing some different things with these variables. And when we find ones that are exactly alike, we can actually do some special and some cool things with them. All right, so let's look at some that are similar but not quite exactly the same. x squared y, it's different than x squared y squared. And x squared y to the power of 3z squared is really close but not the same as x squared y squared z squared. Remember, they have to be the same with the letters. They have to be the same with the exponent. It's really important that we look carefully when we're looking at our exponents and make sure that they they do look very similar. And by very similar, I mean exactly the same. All right, <clears throat> so looking forward, you can only add or subtract terms that are alike. You don't need to know um, this stuff too much today but you will need to know it moving forward, all right? So for today, you just need to be able to identify terms that are exactly alike, identify terms that are unlike, and know the difference between them. Know that you have to look at all the letters in the variable and all of the exponents for the variable. You have to look at all of that to be able to identify whether it's like or unlike. and like I said, you will use this when you're adding, you'll use it when you're subtracting, and you can only add or subtract terms that are alike. So in our next few lessons, we're actually going to be taking those terms and adding them. For today, you just need to be able to identify like and unlike variables. That's it for today. Hope that lesson was helpful for you guys. Have a wonderful day.